So this week, OpenAI broke the internet by releasing their new image generator that's powered by the ChatGPT 4.0 model. And let me tell you something right now, not only has it shaken things up in the AI world, but also the marketing and the design world. We're now able to do things like generating high quality YouTube thumbnails with yourself in the image, literally from one prompt. You can change the style of any existing image to any theme that you can think of and even creating a PNG file with no background or from one prompt. And that's only the surface of what this thing can do. So you can generate the images directly within ChatGPT's individual chats or you can generate it through the Sora website. So this is what it looks like in Sora. All you have to do when you want to generate some images is go down here and make sure you've got image selected instead of video. Now, when you do generate an image, you do have the option to generate up to four variations. I think it's unhighlighted now because of high traffic and you've got all the relevant aspect ratios. So you've got three by two, one by one and two by three. Now, if you are a plus user, you can only generate two images at a time. And taking into consideration that there's a lot of traffic going to the website at the moment, it takes about, I'd say maybe a minute or so for the image to complete. Now let's give it a try and let's see what it can do. The first thing you can do is you can upload an existing image and you can change the style of that image to whatever you'd like. So when the internet got a hold of this, they pretty much went Studio Ghibli anime crazy. Everyone was generating every single iconic meme and photo that you can think of in this style. So this is all you have to do, create a Studio Ghibli version of this image. And this is the image in the background here. You can see there. I mean, look, obviously like it's like, yeah, he's got the shirt, it has got my beard. Uh, but look, it's it's the style and it's the theme and it works incredibly well. Before I show you my generations, I wanna show you all of the amazing generations that I found online. Check these out. Now, another cool thing that you can do with the selfie is not only generate yourself in a different style, but you can also generate yourself in any shot that you can think of. So this is the first example. It was the 3D pixel generation. So all I'm using is literally just an image of me and I'm using this prompt and look how well it comes out. Here's another one. Look how cool it looks like. It's still keeping the theme of me, but you got me in a different setting. I'm wearing obviously something different as well. Now I'm a wizard, which is kind of cool. And yeah, it's keeping the same theme, the pixel theme. I love this one. This is kind of cool. It's kind of like a Minecraft theme as well. I, look at that. Like it's literally got my filler logo. I'm a big fan of filler, by the way, guys. Here we are. I'm like an astronaut and like, look at that. Like everything just looks so cool and it's just matching my face, my eyebrows. Now let's have a look at some of the anime generations of me in different shots. You got this of me as a samurai. Looks kind of cool. I look pretty angry. Now, this is actually one of my favorite themes. It's the cyberpunk anime theme. And look at that. That looks so cool. I probably will create a new profile photo as well and I'll probably keep this theme here i am i'm acting i'm like some wizard and i'm reading some like i don't even look at that i'm reading something but i don't know what language that is then you got me look at this it's like me sitting at the computer i've got my headset on i love this one this one looks so good this one's kind of cool as well like i'm sitting there the wind and i just look i don't know I'll, i don't know just every anime one is so nice all right then i'm like some sort of like futuristic cyborg with a nice looking sword this one was kind of cool it was like an ai hacker like my lights my eyes are like blue it's kind of, i don't know it's a nice it's a nice idea all right now this one i'm gonna say this right now this one looks like i'm very like creepy like let's be honest like what a creep and right, then we went for the simpsons theme which is kind of funny like yeah that's me yeah, and you have the shirt like <laughs> anyway it's just yeah this one this one's interesting all right then we did the south park theme i actually really like this one this one's really cool then there's this one of me standing at the bus stop with all of them like <laughs> i don't know it's funny and i'm playing a game i think it's kyle and yeah it looks like i died this one's kind of funny i think is that mr garrison yeah anyway it looks like i've come in and i don't know it says world domination i don't know why 
Next, I wanted to try out generating multiple people. And I know we all know that this can be really tough. All right, so I grabbed four images. I grabbed the selfie of myself and three of the images that I just showed you before. And I added this prompt here that I use ChatGPT to populate for me. And this is the end result. So what's interesting is that all of those images were all in different styles. And what it's done, it's put it in one style and then made it work. And look at that. Everyone looks exactly the same as how they were from their character reference image. So I was actually very impressed with this result. Now, there's another way to do this. OK, so I wanted to see how many people I could generate with me just from my selfie and just by writing a prompt. So the video you're about to watch, you're going to see it progress from two people. And I think it goes all the way to 10 people. OK, and it's all like celebrities and stuff. Anyway, check it out. Here are the results. Now, another cool thing you can generate is YouTube thumbnails. And more specifically, the thumbnail that you actually clicked on for this video, it was generated using this model. Now, I'm just going to redirect everyone to ChatGPT for a moment. Now, this is how I do sort of my workflow for my YouTube videos. I just say act as my YouTube video rating guide, assist me with the whole process, but mainly rate my ideas, thumbnail and overall video. And I just say, you know, what, what is the video about? And then I ask for titles. Now, once you've got your title, you've given the context as what the video is about, you can literally just ask for the thumbnail directly within the chat. And look at that, like this one's cut off, but I'll just show you this is the first example. Look at this. Like, first of all, I gave it a selfie of me, but like this is like a legit thumbnail. This is extremely good. Now, what I did was I asked uh, ChatGPT to give me the prompt and I started generating them in Sora. Let's have a look at some of these ideas. All right, here's one example. Look at that, like ChatGPT for uh, image model. You've got three different things. That's me. Here's another design. I'm not really a fan of it as well, but look at that. It's even doing the reaction. It's got like this, like uh, the writing here, but it's got like a border around it as well. This one I really like because I like the, um, the style of this one as well. So this one's kind of cool as well. You won't believe the result. Like, look at that. Like that is extremely good. Now I'm not too sure, but I think I'm actually going to go with, uh, with this um thumbnail for the video i'm not too sure but look at this this changes everything the text perfect that's me like i'll be honest this is mind-blowing now i'm going to be testing these thumbnails for a few of my videos moving forward to see how well they're going to do i am definitely considering cancelling my adobe photoshop subscription if i'm getting the same click-through ratio for those videos so I'll let you know if I do that, but it's looking likely that I will. Another cool thing that you can do is create like memes of celebrities and public figures. This one here, I sort of was trying to do like a Mount Rushmore with like Trump and Clinton and a few other people. It came out. Then we've got Kim Jong-un and he's at like Coachella singing. Look at that. Like that's like so good. This one was really cool. I got Putin, Zelensky and Trump and they're on uh, Squid Game. So this is like Squid Game season three. This one was funny. You got uh, Gordon Ramsay and you got Kanye. He's yelling at Kanye. I did another Mount Rushmore one. I did it as the founders of AI. You got Sam Altman, Elon, uh, Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Jensen Wong. Yeah, th this one was funny. You got uh, Trump, uh, Elon, Joe Rogan and Kanye. They're all eating Maccas and they're having a bit of a laugh. I think they're laughing at Kamala Harris. Then you got Barack Obama playing chess with AI. Like This one's really cool. This one was interesting. I got Andrew Tate and uh, this is a Studio Ghibli uh, themed uh, image. This one I like as well. You got Post Malone and he's in the Ghibli style uh, theme. So that's really cool. Now I want to show you guys another thing that this model can do. This one will blow your mind as well that it can do it. Now you can see these images and you can see that the background it's black, but there's actually no background. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to download uh, this one here of Kanye. Right, I'm going to grab that image and I'm going to chuck it in Photoshop. And you can see there it's a PNG file. So there's actually no background. It's literally just Kanye. Look at that. I'm just dragging Kanye. So it can actually create PNGs. Like what? What are my final thoughts of this model? Well, this... 
Well, I can say this definitely right now. We are in uh, pretty much the end of March uh, in 2025. This is by far the best AI tool slash model to be released this year. And I'm actually very proud of OpenAI because I know they didn't have a good end to 2024 with the release of Sora. And this has completely shaken up everything. And I expect myself to continue using this model to establish more use cases. Another thing that I haven't really thought of yet, could you use this image model and video model of Sora and not use any other generator? You honestly could, especially if you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. The image generator, Sora's video model, at least you know that the consistent character will work as well. And then you don't have to pay for another subscription because you've got this ChatGPT Plus subscription, you don't have to pay for another one. So the only thing you won't have is lip sync. So that's kind of crazy to think about, but I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm still going to be using the other ones for the time being. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. I will, uh, I'll will see you guys in the next video and uh, have a good one. Peace.